What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today is a what's in my blind bag video. I've done one of these in the past at the end of last season and things kind of change a little bit. So starting out, this bag is a Tangle Free Flight Series blind bag. I actually got it in my Hunter's Hall box if you guys didn't see that unboxing, which was pretty sweet because I had been using an old Plano tackle box for a blind bag. Let me see if I can find it. It's not here somewhere. Nope. Ha. Yeah. Oh. So this is actually the bag that I used for probably the longest time. I mean, since I started duck hunting, really. This is the blind bag that I've been using, which is really not a blind bag. It's for like your tackle boxes, it's a tackle bag and whatnot, but it worked. It worked really well. And um, I got a little bit of an upgrade. There's still grass and crap down on the bottom. But, uh, I like this bag a lot. I will do a review on it later, but I'm gonna show you guys what's all in my blind bag. This is kind of like the maximum amount of stuff that I would carry if I needed it. Uh, I, I generally try to keep things pretty light because I've got a lot more stuff than the average hunter due to uh, camera gear and things of that sort. But on top here on this little stretchy thing, I've got my Sitka gloves and uh, those are there. They're great for, you know, in the fields, brushing blinds. And, I mean, keeping your hands warm. I'll do a review on those later. Um, I want to kind of review all my Sitka stuff for you guys, but I will do that in a later video. On the outside here is a pocket. And in this pocket, I've got some waterproof gloves for picking up decoys. So if I'm hunting water or something, I've got these. Keep my hands warm, especially for like, even, even just like pushing ice and making a hole. These are great. They keep your hands dry. They keep your hands warm-ish. Perfect. And then also I've got a dry bag in here, um, which is, a dry bag is a really important piece of equipment for me because I've got a lot of electronic stuff that I need to keep dry. So if I'm hunting in water, or like we're hunting waist deep water, we're standing in trees or whatever, this is where I'm keeping a lot of my camera gear to keep it dry and safe. If you guys don't have one of these and you've got camera equipment or electronics that you need to keep dry, look at investing in a dry bag. They are worth the money. So that's all I got in that pocket there. And then let's go ahead and open her up and check out the inside. I know you guys can't really see inside the bag. I probably should, probably should have done a better camera angle than this, but we'll, we'll roll with this. So inside of the flap here, we've got two pockets. And in this pocket right here, I've got a uh, game tote. So take your dead ducks, put them on there. Gang, gang, it's right there, easy access. And this other pocket is a nine volt battery, which is what my microphone uses. So if my microphone dies, I've got an extra battery ready to go all right so let's uh let's do the outside pockets here first on this side i've got this little deal and this is kind of a multi-tool for like with your gun so it's got a punch it's got a knife it's got a saw and it's got a choke tube wrench so if, if i need to work on my gun or whatever i've got that and it's ready to go Another thing I've got is a headlamp. You can never have too many flashlights in your bag because I've actually ran out of battery in a headlamp before. Uh, it's actually opening day. I was walking around in the dark because my headlamp battery died. So that was no fun. <laughs> I don't recommend that. So keep extra batteries or keep an extra light in your bag and uh, you'll, you'll be able to see at nighttime. So you're not wandering around in the dark. On this side, I've got this little call, I don't like to keep a lot of calls on my lanyard, um, if you guys didn't know that. I generally try to keep about three calls on my lanyard tops because I don't like them when they get all tangled up and you can't find the one that you want. I like to keep it simple, double read, single read, and my goose call. But if it's early season, there's whistling, um, pintails, or widgeons, or teal, I've got this and I can use it. Or a mallard drake call, this does do a mallard drake call. And I've also got an extra pair of gloves because I've, this is something I've always done. I've always had two pairs of gloves with me. Actually, now I've got three, but I hate having my hands get cold. And if you're like in the water, your, wa your gloves get wet, it's nice to have an extra dry pair. So I got those. And that's all that's in there. On this outside pocket, it's kind of a lot of necessities, you could say. So I've got a n extra knife. 
So if you're building blinds, you need a knife or something, I've got a big one. And then I've also got this little dealy bop. It's a, there's some clippers and a knife and a saw and whatnot. It's pretty, pretty small. And if you're cutting twigs and whatnot, those little clippers, they're pretty nice. Next thing is a pretty decent, I mean, probably like six foot long piece of paracord. You never know if you're gonna need it. Uh, add extra length to your jerk cord, do something, build a blind. Rope's always nice to have. You guys might think I'm crazy for having this in here, but I've actually used this a lot. And these are fencing pliers. And this is like the multi-tool of a farm. And I've used it for the pliers and I've also used it as a hammer because it's got a hammer point on it. And I use that a lot for putting decoys in the ground. Let's say it's hard ground or whatever. You need a hammer, you need a, something to hit something or pinch something. I've got it. This has actually been used quite a few times in the field. And I've also got um, a kind of a dirtier rag and some gun oil. You never know when you're gonna need it. In, in Colorado, my gun actually just it was it was dead. There was I needed to take it apart, blow it out. There was dirt and everything. So after that, I learned to keep that in there because I actually cleaned my gun with one of these lens wipes in the field. It worked, but it didn't work that great. So, started carrying a rag and some gun oil. And then I've got another knife in here. This has always been in my hunting bag. Just you know, not the best knife in the world. But building blinds, you never know when you're going to need a knife. Somebody forgets one, somebody doesn't have one. There you go. So that's all that's in that pocket. Now, the main pouch is where the real goodies are in here. A lot of that stuff really never gets touched all that much. I'm usually in this main part of my bag. And so on top here, I've got a bigger flashlight. This one's just like $15. Walmart flashlight. I like carrying a big light with me because you're able to hold it and see a lot more. This is a 700 lumen, so it's pretty bright. Um, instead of just using like a little dinky headlamp to get stuff done, I like to have this big light. It makes things a lot easier. And it helps with filming too, so that's, that's nice. And I've got my duck calls. Nothing special on there. And then I've got this little dealy bop. This came with my waders, this little shell holder. I'd like to keep my shells in this, but I also sometimes carry like an extra box or something. Uh, just kind of depends. But usually I've just got this thing filled out with shells and that stays in there and I've got my shells for the hunt. Now, um, I've also got another headlamp. Like I said, it's just something I do. I keep a lot of headlamps in here. I've also got some sunflower seeds. All the real goodies are kind of like out of my bag because I, I kind of went through it already and got like all the Snickers bars and all that stuff. But I like to keep snacks in here as well. So sunflower seeds, they're pretty nice on a slow day. Okay, now the real goodies are on the inside of this right now. And this is kind of the heart of this. And so I've got my GoPro Hero 3. And I've got my GoPro Hero 5. Those are the two GoPros that I use when I film. I'll do another video on my filming equipment. If you guys would like that, let me know. Leave it in the comments. And then I've got a microphone for the GoPro. I've got four GoPro batteries. Um, these are big camera batteries. They're on chargers right now. I've got extra SD cards. I've got lens wipes. And I've got another camera in here. This is the camera that I used before I got this one. And this is a camera that I use for taking pictures. It's got, the, got a bigger lens on it. It's kind of nice. Uh, having two rigs, one for pictures, one for video, makes life pretty easy. I think this is the last thing. I've just got a uh, head mount for the GoPro. I think that is everything that I've got in my bag. Now i got to put it all back together. So that is just kind of the gist of everything that I take with me when I'm duck hunting. There might be something missing because, you know, I haven't hunted in a long time. But that's kind of the basics of what I keep in my bag when I go out. If you guys think I need to keep something in my bag that I don't have it in already, leave it in the comments and I'd love to hear it and kind of explain why I'd need it. But that is, that's basically all that I take with me on a hunt. Oh, I almost forgot. These are very important. These are my Costas. Uh, I usually take these with me while I'm hunting. Sunny days, sunglasses are a game changer, especially if you're like facing east when the sun's coming up. Whew, these make a big difference. And these are these are uh, Cortez. I don't think they make these anymore, 
but I like these coasters a lot. They're a little pricey, but they're definitely worth the money. Um, sunglasses are a worthwhile investment for a duck hunter. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. If you guys want to pick up a hat like this one or this one, I'm showing you hats that we don't have on the website anymore. Go to MallowhackerOutfitters.com and pick some up and uh, we'll ship them out and they'll arrive right at your door. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next one.